What expansion era team has the best winning percentage? Folks, it's Sunday, Sunday showdown, coffee, trivia. I am trying to complete a comeback. I've been down. Do we have a scoreboard? We'll bring it up. There it Here's is. Here's a scoreboard. I've been down. Now it's just a three run lead. I got to keep after it. I can't, you know, it's, there's a lot of work to do. Three, three runs is a lot. So. It, it is, but you've already made up four out of the no. seven from the first inning. Just keep, keep getting after it. So let's, without any further ado, let's see what we can come up with. So we have, we're doing expansion era team. So this is, Teams that started their franchise between 1961 and 1969, which team has the best winning percentage? So you have the Angels, Astros, Brewers, Mets, Nationals, Padres, Rangers, or the Royals? I'm away, so I got to pick here. I got to think through this one a little bit here. Um, I mean, a lot of these teams, a lot of bad years happening here. Yeah, for sure. Is um, it... I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Astros. Uh -huh. um, they had some. They made it to what the NLCS in 1980. Uh -huh. um, they had some decent teams through there, and then they had a few real bad years. But they've also had like the the 90s, 2000s, and then recently yeah. have really been playing well. So I'm going Astros. This is tough. Um, this is tough. This is tough. This is tough. Um, I'm going to go with... I think I'm going to go the same. I feel... I kind of felt... I don't like to go the same. Just, you know, we, we try not to go the same. Yeah, well, thinking, and you got to make up some runs, and you can't do yeah. it guess the same. Yeah, but that's the tough. That's the thing, though, is like I just don't like the Astros have been good for like consistently for like twenty years. <laughs> it's like uh, it's a little hard to um, to go again. I was thinking maybe Angels. They have some a couple good runs. Yeah, but yeah, you're right. I mean, you think about you got to think about playoff teams. And, yeah, you know, the Angels been there a couple none times. Of these, yeah, yeah, none of these know. teams. Are, the Mets maybe a bit, but not a lot, you know? Yeah, I mean, a, a few times, you know, again. And they, they just, so I I just feel like I can't go I, in good conscience <laughs> with anybody other than the Astros. It just feels that way to me. Yeah, all right. Okay, so here we go. The correct answer with <laughs> the only team with above 500 winning percentage mm -hmm. on this list is the Astros. <laughs> at 501, but only three percentage points behind is uh -huh. the Angels. Okay, so I mean, I was in there. I know they had some good runs, but um, I just felt like, it, how do you? Go, how can you? I just, uh, I, I mean, yeah, you, that would that would have cost me dearly had I gone some. It would have. Yeah. So I had okay. to. I had well to cling. I got to cling right now. So not only are we. Are we trying to get – you're trying to make the comeback. I'm mm -hmm. also trying to do something that's never happened. Yeah. Get to 20. 20 spot. I think I we have to go back and check the tape. I think we may already be at a, at a baseball brouhaha record. Oh, um, yeah, I mean, last week felt like it was a – could have been a record. That mm -hmm. was a high-scoring game. Yeah. All right. Well, let's take a look at the eighth inning question here we go we're going dodgers what dodger pitcher has the most career wins we have mm -hmm. don drysdale brickyard kennedy clayton kershaw sandy koufax don sutton or dazzy vance two of these <laughs> have know nothing about their career um, <laughs> But I'm away. Gosh, I'm going to go Drysdale. Yeah, I'm going Kershaw. Okay. Mm -hmm. You feeling good about that one? 
I, I think so, but I, I mean, I don't okay. know. I feel good. All right. The correct answer <clears throat> is one Don Sutton. <laughs> Third 33. As a Dodger. Wow. As a Dodger. Yep. Okay. And second was Drysdale. 209 your guess was kershaw who's third with 197 i suppose maybe we should have clarified this was up until x amount of time um yeah he's i mean he's still not at 233 he is at 210 yeah. but 210 oh so he's second now just past drysdale mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yep <clears throat> so there you go let's check the scoreboard uh, both of us not getting it right on that one. A big zero. The big zero. Okay, mm -hmm. so here we go. Heading into the ninth. I can try and pad the lead here. 17-14. Boy, this, um, this is this is tough sledding right here. <clears throat> okay. So here's my question, ninth inning question. Which player led Major League Baseball in homers? A record six consecutive years. Was it Mike Schmidt, Ralph Kiner, Alex Rodriguez, or Reggie Jackson? This is easy for me. Easy? Yeah. Not for me. <laughs> I feel like we had, didn't we have a question sort of about this guy, wasn't it? Yeah. I feel like I'm going Ralph Kiner. I feel like we had a question about this guy. Is it's that your guess? It's all day, every day. And twice all on. day every day 1947 to 52 mm -hmm. so there you go okay so ninth inning pan the lead stack one up there 18 trying to get to my goal of 20. we've got to add add the, the run to the ninth here and let's go to the next question Detroit Tigers pitcher Joel Zumaya once missed three games after injuring himself doing what? <laughs> we have playing Guitar Hero, wrestling with his dog, yoga, and playing basketball. Maybe I'm remembering incorrectly, but I feel like I rem remember somebody <laughs> getting injured playing Guitar Hero because with the fingers and all that. <laughs> yeah, I'm going right. Guitar Hero. That would have been my guess. That is, that is correct. Boy, are you just are you feeding yourself softballs? That's what I want to know. <laughs> I'm not. I mean, these are. <laughs> I would. I would not say these are generally easy questions. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> until the you know maybe until the options are read. Um. <laughs> It says, on the Xbox 360 version of Guitar Hero 2, the credits read, no pitchers were harmed in the making of this game, except for one, Joel Zumaya. He had it coming. <laughs> what? That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Okay, so here we go. Who is mm -hmm. the first Puerto Rican player to receive a World Series MVP award? We have Yvonne Rodriguez, Orlando Cepeda, Roberto Clemente, or Carlos Beltran. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Beltran on this one. <clears throat> Seeing if I can get to twenty. Yeah. Incorrect. Cepeda? What, do you have a guess? Cepeda? No. I mean, I would have guessed it's, Beltran. It's but... Clemente. Clemente. Uh, I that, that was I, like my initial thought, but. Anyway, first Puerto Rican to win a World Series, to win an NL MVP award, and to receive an MV World Series MVP, first Puerto Rican inducted into the Hall of Fame. So I didn't get the 20, but I got a five-run cushion. Feeling mm -hmm. pretty good about that one. Aaron, here is your question. Oh, boy. Yeah. What <laughs> this is a lot of work again? All right. What MLB pitcher would go on to become a U.S. Senator? Lefty mm -hmm. Grove, Al Downing, Roger Clemens, or Jim Bunning? A 
Can you read me the list one more time? Lefty Grove, Al Downing, Roger Clemens, or Jim Bunning? I have no idea. Uh, I mean, I, I know it's not Clem, Clemens. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with Jim Bunning. Okay, that would be my guess, and I'm pretty sure that's correct. That is correct. Oh, Kentucky. Ooh. Boom. Sir from 87 to 99. Or no, I'm sorry. I needed that. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Next. Here we go. Oh, we got to put your run up here. We got to get yeah, this. Don't. Going. Don't. 15. I need them. I need them okay. all. Which left-handed pitcher led the AL in strikeouts seven years in a row? We have Whitey Ford, Randy Johnson, Lefty Grove, or Sandy Koufax. Okay, one more time on the question. Which left-handed pitcher led the American League in strikeouts seven years in a row? Mm -hmm. Whitey Ford, Randy Johnson, Lefty Grove, or Sandy Koufax? Um, let's go with let's go with Whitey Ford. Okay, here we Please. go. Please. Incorrect is Lefty Grove. It's disappointing. All that comeback. All of it for nothing. You made you made a huge run. We had a lot of offense going. Mm -hmm. We got to come back <clears throat> to the big finish on story time here. We're we're a little bit light on baseball news right now. We're really in the doldrums. I do. I have a question you know, that would spur a little story time. Let's hit it. What do you got? So, this reminds me of um, our senior year. We made the playoffs, and we did. We actually made the playoffs every year that we were in high school. Yeah. Uh, we got beat out uh, in the first round, first two years. Um, but our senior year, we finally made it to out of the district tournament and into like the regional tournament. Mm -hmm. We played in, in Medical Lake, which we way back in this show, we talked about uh, parks and all kinds of stuff. Um, and we played there, and we played Wilbur Creston. Yeah. Remember that game? I do. Wasn't the <laughs> final score 19 to 15? I think it was, which is yeah. a little wild. But it, I want to hear what you remember uh, about that game. Because I, I think we've talked about this game um, yeah. a little bit, but I want to hear your your recollections about that. Yeah. Game. You know, I don't, I, I remember. So I started pitching. Mm -hmm. I was the starting <laughs> pitcher of that game. Yep. I remember that the field was very oddly shaped where mm -hmm. center field was very close. It's like three 30 or something. Yeah. And then, and then it was windy also. Yep. <laughs> yes, <And> so, <laughs> so balls were leaving the park. Um, I don't, I don't really remember, even though 19 to 15 is so many runs, mm -hmm. I don't remember it feeling like it was just a hit parade. Um, no, that, well, we'll get to my portion of it. Well, you probably touch on it. It's because it was a walk parade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I started the game. We got a big lead. Mm -hmm. And then um, Stu, our coach, our manager, wanted... Um, to preserve me a bit for um, later on in the state tournament. Mm -hmm. And um, so he pulled me out, put you in, and then and then um, they started making a comeback. It sounds like I don't remember exactly how. I just remember them starting to make a comeback. And then, um, and then he double switched me back to pitcher. So I started the game. Mm -hmm. so I wonder how that works. You know, I started the game. We got what, ahead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You came in. <laughs> you I, the... came at, I came back in. Do I get the win and the save? It could be because I'm pretty sure. I'm actually, I don't know. Because I was trying to think in the last inning. Well, I mean, 
I can't remember the circumstances because I think we won by four. I don't know at what point what the score was when you re-entered the game. You know, if it would have yeah. qualified as a save or not. But that would be an interesting, <laughs> interesting <laughs> little situation. The prop. So what happened was, so we got this big lead, um, and then um, um, I Stu put me in the pitch. And um, I don't know if it was just me or you. I don't know what happened, but um, the strike zone was seriously <laughs> like it felt like it was the size of a grapefruit. Like I could not throw a strike and it wasn't I couldn't throw a strike, but it wasn't like I'm like throwing it you know, way over here. way over, Like it was right there and I just couldn't get a call. And, you know, I have to go back if I could go back and transport and look at it just like. It, it was tough. It was the strike zone felt so small and I could not, I walked so many guys um, and that's what got them back into the game is I couldn't, I couldn't get anybody out and every, I had to throw everything right down the middle of the plate um, and I didn't have overpowering stuff. So it was just like, you know, you throw 78 right down the middle to a team that's in the state champ state tournament. Like, I mean, you're going to get beat. <laughs> so, um, so that that was that was one of my least fun. I've had a few unfun pitching. I, I mean, I could throw strikes. I had some good games. Um, I had some bad games. <laughs> <laughs> I remember a Legion game. I gave up like thirteen runs before Burdett was finally like, "All right, let's, <laughs> let's get this guy out of here." Um, but by then, it was all it was all mop up. It was all John Briscoe time at that at that point of the. <clears throat> yeah, point of the game. But you, but in that Wilbur Creston game, you hit a home run. I actually I hit it in the previous game. So really, little, yeah. Oh, okay. So we played a double we header. So yeah, yeah. You play the way that that tournament worked is you played double header um, on that Saturday. So we played Mossy Rock. Was it Mossy Rock? Yeah, I think it was yeah. Mossy Rock. Mm -hmm. We played in that first game. I hit my first career home run over a fence in high school in my fourth to last game <laughs> um, <clears throat> against Mossy Rock to that 330 dead center. So um, I did hit a double in the Wilbur Crescent, but I remember I only went two for 10 in that double header, which was I, I hit 540 for the season. It was not my, a good showing, and part of the problem was I was trying to hit a home run. <laughs> hit a home run, so I pop-ups. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's tempting. You know. it, it felt yeah. short, plus the, the wind. It was just like... Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. you're talking with your teammates about just uh, just get it up in the mm -hmm. air. You know, it'll, mm -hmm. it'll carry. We we had a couple guys. So um, I remember we had talked about this before in a different show, but our buddy uh, Mitch hit one of the hardest, like lowest line drives that I've ever seen for a home run. Um, I mean, it it seriously was like it couldn't have gone more than ten feet in the air. It was insane. <laughs> hit the first row, but it was like just absolute missile. And I think too, um, Justin actually hit, um, hit one like three quarters of the way up the center field bleachers. Mm -hmm. Cause it was like yeah. three thirty, but it wasn't just a fence. It was like, um, cement and then a whole, like probably yeah. 20 rows of bleachers probably. Um, yeah. I mean, he hit it like three quarters. <laughs> it was a bomb. Like it was, it was a shot. So, um, yeah, that's I. I remember that game and that. I mean, most high scoring games that we had, we were we won by ten or twelve or fifteen runs. Mm -hmm. But you know, this one in particular, I remember was was uh, it was something, and we almost lost it. Yeah. And if I remember, I could be wrong. If I remember correctly, you came back in for me pitch. I went back to third base, and I think I made the last out that sent us to the to the final four um, there at the end. But anyway, yeah. A lot of fun. Yeah. I, if anybody knows, put your comments in there. If I start and then leave and then come back in, do I get the win yeah. and the save? Yeah. And would you, have, <laughs> would you have technically gotten the hold in that situation? Well, I didn't give up the lead. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I suppose so. I suppose so. <laughs> the crazy thing that, too, that I remember about those playoffs that is just so quirky is so we played, um, so there's a team called uh, DeSales, DeSales, Washington, a little small. Um, they're in Walla Walla, a little small private school. They're in our, in our district. So 
<clears throat> we didn't play him. We don't play him during the regular season. We go to the playoffs. We're in the district district tournament, um, and we we won our first game, and uh, and then uh, Waitsburg upset the sales. Like the sales was real good, and they were good for a long time. Upset the sales, or sorry, um, yeah, Waitsburg upsets the sales. We play Waitsburg in the district championship game. Remember that? No. You, remember? you don't remember? Okay. We play. We, we, <laughs> Adam, Adam doesn't remember. We play Waitsburg in the, <laughs> in the district championship game. Um, and we made some errors. Our, um, our best pitcher, I think you pitched in that game. Um, Jason was playing shortstop. And he made an error. We lost the district championship like five to four. And we're all like, you know, we're kicking ourselves. And we had, you know, we had the game won. Um, and we made some errors, lost the game by a run. Um, the way that it turned out, because Waitsburg was the number one seed, we were the two seed. The sales got the three seed into the, into the regional tournament. So Waitsburg and the sales ended up in the same um the same region. DeSales beats Waitsburg, and then we, we win our two games. Go to the final four. So we end up playing DeSales for the state championship. We end up losing. Um, but it's just it's one of those things that's funny where it's like, you know, you, you don't know what would have happened for sure. But if we would have won that game, if we would not booted the ball or whatever, we would have been playing DeSales in the regional not in the state and not in the final four and who knows maybe you know as seniors you know yeah it would have been great to win the state championship but to be there to go the farthest that any gar Powell baseball team had ever gone be in the state championship make a run at the end have a shot to win the game was unbelievable even though we we lost and you know we could have been out in the you know the round of 16. Man, you yeah know, been there so it's just funny. Things fall, fall funny ways. So, especially yeah. in single elimination. Oh, absolutely. So, so there you go. Story time about a 19 to 15, very obscure baseball score. We just matched it. Let's go. <laughs> we'll be back tomorrow, ripping more packs, having a good time. Yep. Come hang out with us. Thanks folks. We'll see you then. <laughs>